Well, good morning. It's Pastor Sandy coming to you with a time of refreshing. Wanted to talk to you about the most wonderful time of the year. And I know that some of you may be saying, well, it doesn't feel very wonderful to me. But you know what? There's a person called Jesus that wants to make it feel wonderful for you. You know, the next time you see a scenery or a major uh, scene like this, or you hear the really special songs that they sing about Jesus and the glorious joy to the world, just remember, Jesus loves you. And, you know, when we see those things, if we can see the purity in them, you know, and that when we give our lives to Jesus, and if you haven't, you can do that as easily today of accepting him. God comes in and gives us a pure and a holy life. He comes in and gives us peace where there wasn't peace. He gives you hope in hopeless situations. I'm telling you today, God wants you to know that it's not just the most wonderful time of the year, but it can be the most wonderful life that you've ever had when you have Jesus. And maybe you say, well, I have Jesus, but I've had a lot happen. Maybe you've lost a loved one. Well, I just pray right now, Father, give them peace over this holiday season, especially, God, if, if, if a loved one is not with them this year. God, surround them with your love. Surround them with your peace. Give them, God, that comfort that only you can. You know, when Jesus came down, to earth from heaven. It was like a breath of fresh air. It was a breath of life that came down to a hard and a cold world. I'm telling you, it's time to experience God's love like you never have before in a greater way and to experience his peace and his joy in a world that's full of turmoil and a world that's full of uncertainties. God has come for you and me. God came so that we could have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, I pray today that you'll receive and feel his peace and love. That even under the sound of my voice right now, where maybe you felt like there is no hope and I don't want to even go on. God is speaking to you today that he loves you and he has greater things for you. He has a plan and a purpose just for you. So you've got to hold on. There's people counting on you and me. I'll tell you, it's so important that we grab a hold of hope and grab a hold of Jesus this most wonderful time of the year. Walk in the greater that God has. You know, he came down to earth for you and for me. Oh, how he loves you. He wants you to experience, look up and receive his hope and his peace and his joy and his love today. Start today, choose today that I'm going to choose love. I'm going to choose joy. I'm going to receive his forgiveness and then be able to forgive. I'm going to walk in the freedom that God planned on me to walk in. I'm going to have peace that passes all understanding. Oh, today is your day to start over. Today is your day to walk in all that God has for you. God wants you to truly know his love, his joy, his peace. This is not the end of the story. You're just getting started. Oh, let your life go tell the Christmas story today. Let your life go tell of the goodness of Jesus. Let your life go tell his love. If you go give it away, you'll begin to receive more love than you could ever, ever comprehend. Oh, Father, I thank you right now that everyone under the sound of my voice, especially that those that don't have that loved one or that friend with them this Christmas time, God, that you give them comfort and peace and surround them with your joy, surround them with your hope, and God, let them know how much you love them. Oh, I believe they're going to feel it today. I speak to those that have been discouraged and feel like you're in a hopeless situation and don't even want to think about Christmas or family. But today, God has given you hope. God has given you peace. And you will receive his joy today. 
I thank you right now that God, you're touching lives, touching hearts, and giving hope to hopeless situations. Oh God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. Oh, I just want to thank you, God, today for right now touching every heart that is listening to this message. Oh, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, I want you to just grab a hold of Jesus. See the Christ in Christmas this year. Grab a hold of the greatest gift there ever was, Jesus. And then go give that gift away. Until next time, keep it simple, my sister, and I bless my brothers.